even when I've left, I do right by you. I'll be your everything, your blue sky. guys we have one cardio session left tonight 15 minutes on the bike but other than that we done with cardio at least until Sunday or Monday but feeling like I'm pretty tight you can't see really but I feel like I'm starting to tighten up a little bit I also feel like I'm filling out a little bit because of the extra carbs which is good um, I'm still incredibly tiny but it's only temporary. Myself counting up the years. Standing in the doorway, moments before with my hopes and fears. If the whole world stops, will I still stand? When the fire burns, the smoke inside my lungs Oh, we are It's the pain we overcome It's the work that's never done It's the game that rages on Oh, we are It's the dark before the dawn It's the fight when hope is gone That's all we are That's all we are
I'm not afraid to cross the line and turn this friendship into more than amazing. Stop, we don't have to change at all. Old school like a carnival. You're still my bestie, but you're more. You're my baby, because love is whatever. Alrighty friends, I just pulled up to, you definitely can't see anything, Charles Benzone. Um, I'm gonna go get my eyebrows threaded. I'm not looking forward to it because it's just painful, but the waxing used to give me irritation bumps and it doesn't seem like threading does that. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I'm gonna head home, get my next two meals for the day, and then we're gonna head to my dad's, get my oil changed because we're taking my car up to Cleveland and my oil has been, um, has needed change for a while. So that's the plan. I'm gonna go get my eyebrows pulled out. It's gonna be great. And then we'll go home, eat, and then go see Buddy. So right when I thought she was gonna start threading my eyebrows, she just ripped off a thing of, or she started putting on wax. So I was like, all right, cool, guess, guess they're getting waxed today, so. Look at how red that is. I just put some lotion on it so hopefully I won't get the irritation bumps because I don't actually like break out. I don't get zits. I just get those like little itchy bumps. Um, but I just put this honey oatmeal cream on it. So hopefully it helps to reduce redness and inflammation. Um, so yeah, hopefully it works. And this is my next meal. Sweet potatoes, chicken, and egg whites. So I'm gonna eat this and then head over to my dad's. Are you peeking? Where's Bill? Hi. Hi, come on. What, you a little lamb? So they keep pumping, you know, like, well, James just pulls up his knee. We're not sure, pull it up. Sure enough, somebody else is already done it. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I just learned the little blue thing down there is my oil, where it's held. No, it's your oil filter. My oil filter. The still no, I know, but so do you not have to drain it down? Yeah. You do, yeah? It's a new oil filter. Fancy. Yeah, cool. I'm getting the red one. Bud! No, I'm gonna let it uh, Hi! I have to pull the plug in my Okay. Alrighty friends, I was at my dad's for longer than I anticipated. Um, I ended up lying down and taking a nap. And it was a much needed nap. It was like, I wanna say two hours. And then my Nana and Papa called me because I didn't talk to them yesterday. So they wished me a happy birthday. Then my grandpa came and his birthday is April 1st. So I caught up with him and now we got to my little apartment gym and we're gonna do 15 minutes on here and then go home and eat, get to editing. So let's get to it. Last cardio session is finito until after this show. Let's go home, make some tea, make some food. I think I'm gonna show you guys how I do the sweet potato oatmeal because I've gotten some messages over that. So I'll show you how I make that.
You're sitting so proper. You never sit like this. You sit like this. Oh, well, there we go. Off to the races. There he goes. Watch. Yep, under the bed. <laughs> okay. Um, we've arrived to my next meal. It is 6 o'clock. So I have a third cup of oats, three ounces of yams, and then four ounces of blank steak. Blank steak is obviously not in the oatmeal. So I had a bunch of you say that you also were not aware that you could do sweet potato oatmeal. So I just do this the exact, like you cook your oats the same. I do put a little bit more water in general, but especially with this, because on the directions, it said to leave a little bit more water just so the yams could mix in a little bit more. Um, so I'm gonna cook that. And then yesterday, I didn't heat up the sweet potatoes before I added them in, and I noticed they didn't mix up as well as the first day I did it when they were like fresh. So I'm gonna heat up three ounces of my sweet potato. I keep going back for saying sweet potato or yam because my meal plan says yams, but I have sweet potatoes, and I still don't know the difference. Do you? Yeah, they're two different things. I don't think they are. Yes, they are. Like, significantly different? Yes. They are two different types of vegetables. Not vegetables. Whatever. Starches. Um, okay, Christopher also just looks up the difference between a yam and a sweet potato, and apparently there's no difference, it's just a different variety. Yeah, that's what it said. Yam is just a variety in the sweet potato family. But what, you said they look a little different? Yeah. Are yams darker? No, yams are lighter. They look like kind of normal potatoes. Oh, really? Okay. Anyways, so now we know the difference. Hold on, let me see. In this picture, oh, whoops. Yeah. I'm trying to focus it, yeah. The yams on the left, sweet potatoes on the right. See, Lil doesn't hate me all the time, guys. <laughs> she loves when we're in the kitchen. Right, Beal? Not all the time. But she, she but she has a limit, right? Right? Yes. Okay, I just added my cinnamon into my oats. This cinnamon is like way finer than the last one I had and it's been making the consistency of my oats a little bit different, but that's all right. Helps thicken it up a little bit. So, I'm literally just gonna add these in and then I'm hoping now that they're warmer like they were the first day, it'll mix up a little bit better. But I probably should have broken this up before I put it in, but here. Smush them down. This is literally all you do, it's not complicated. I, but I know I got a lot of messages saying that you guys didn't know it was a thing and what exactly you needed to do. Just make sure that you do mashed sweet potatoes, I guess, or you could cube them if you wanted to, but I will say, heat the sweet potatoes or yams up before you add them into your oats, and you have to cook your oats first before you can add them in. But it definitely mixes up a lot better when they're warm, which makes sense. Yesterday, I just assumed since the oatmeal was hot that it would heat up the yams and it would mix up well, and this is a lot better. So that's it. Hi. What are you doing? Why are you looking back and forth? Alrighty friends, I, um, we've just kind of been relaxing. But I did sit down, I've been very, um, I've been antsy and wanted to start this puzzle because I want to like take on the challenge of it. But I'm really, we're not going to be home enough this weekend, aka like at all. Um, so starting it now would just not be good and with cats like since we're not going to be here I would fear that they would like knock off pieces and play with them because that's what cats do And I also don't want to wreck my back before the show trying to do it tonight because I sat down to work on then I was like, okay, this might not be the best idea But what I did do I went through the entire bin and the little box and took out all of the edge pieces So when we are ready to start it, I at least have this done so Megan, you can't time me yet. The timer has not started yet because we haven't actually started building it. But I did separate out all of the edge pieces. So as soon as we're ready, 
We're gonna hit the ground running and knock this thing out. I'm so excited to do it. But, um, yeah, Christopher's eating. I'm going to have my last meal here in a little bit and then try to go to bed early tonight. I'm working out with Amanda tomorrow and checking in with Mike again. And he said, depending on how I look, like maybe we'll make some changes, maybe we won't. Um, because I am going to be competing earlier on Saturday than he thought, he said I am going to have to move my meals up. Um, but hopefully, I don't think my show day meals should change at all. Uh, so yeah, I do need to start planning out and like making sure I have everything ready to go for show day. I was just looking over the email he sent me with the plan for Friday and Saturday. Um, so I'm, I'm going to start getting my suitcase together again. And that's the one thing with traveling for a show. I would rather have way more than I need than not enough. So like I'm going to bring some extra, I'm going to bring peanut butter, even though he didn't say to bring peanut butter. I have, he told me to bring rice cakes and honey and I would bring extra oats. Like I just, you, it's always good to have more because come show day, if you're flat or whatever, anything, if he's like, oh, do you have this? Um, I would rather say yes than no. <laughs> so that is the plan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really start cracking down on that tomorrow probably. But yeah, I think that's it. Do you have any, any random thoughts today? So he has a word of the day calendar on his desk. He has a little Zen garden on his desk. And now he has his Star Wars Legos. Yeah, I'm planning on more stuff. Like what? More stuff, more Lego stuff. Star Wars? It doesn't have to be, maybe. How would you have any more room? You need to send me a picture. I feel like you've gotta be, how do you, I don't understand I how have you have room the, on your desk. I have the Star Wars on top of my computer. He thought of something. Thanks for the intro. <laughs> so one thing I was thinking about, and the guys at work can attest to this. Um, we are we're good friends with our our neighbors who are a Greek restaurant called oh, Yappy neighbors? Greek. They're right down the street. Oh, um, sure. It's a really good place. But anyways, they all got some Greek fries today, which are just regular French fries topped with feta cheese, and what we all thought was tzatziki sauce, right? He called it tahiki sauce. So, so now we don't know. So now is. we don't know if it's tzatziki or tahiki. So if you could weigh in <laughs> down below, appreciate the help. I said to I I've always called it tzatziki, but that's only because I I've Googled, heard other people. I, I haven't I haven't Googled it yet, which I'm sure I could. Yeah, let me ask Google right now. Yeah, but we want your guys. This is this is our gonna be fun part of our videos now. Random thoughts slash debates of the day. All right, that's it. Comment down below what you think. You can update us in the next video tomorrow morning. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you aren't subscribed, join the fam. We just passed 2,800. Yeah, see you in the morning.